welcome back. Welcome back to Dylan's Soul Hobbies. And I have a question for you. Are you a guy with a cat? Let me rephrase that. Are you a guy who lives with a cat? Maybe your girlfriend, wife, I don't know, your sister owns a cat. And you live with a cat. Hmm? Maybe you're friends with the cat? Maybe you tolerate the cat? Maybe the cat hates you. But the point is, are you a guy with a cat? Look, girls are probably gonna love this too, but it's just such a guy's thing. That I'm gonna start the video out like that. Alright guys, welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies. And when I was a kid, I used to love remote control race cars. So, it's kind of funny, you know? When I was younger, um, I used to love toys, and I used to have tons and tons of toys. I was very fortunate as a kid to have tons and tons of toys. Uh, funny enough, I would play with them for a couple of months, probably, but then I eventually put it on the shelf and never touch it, tell no one to touch it. Why? Because it was a collector's item to me. I was pretty much a toy collector when I was a kid. And eventually what happened was my interest would change and you can't keep everything so a lot of my stuff went into either storage or more likely they got sold at toy sale uh, at uh, garage sales or they also just went to like uh, goodwill or something like that my interest changed while i got older you know one thing that i really wish i never got out of was um remote control race cars because I think they are so cool and I really don't know why I uh, like and I really wish I didn't get out of that because now we have drones I mean so let, let's be honest when I was a kid there were still drones but they were like super expensive like you had to be super rich to have a drone to have anything that flies but um yeah I'm not gonna get a drone however I do you have a cat? Let's bring it back to the cat thing. I was the other day picking up some cat food from, uh, actually I was on Chewy.com and I typed in uh, cat toys because I figured, yeah, why not look at something for my cats? When I saw a remote control mouse on Chewy, um, I think it was like Headsbug or something like that. Uh, it wasn't stock, so I actually went to, um, I went to Amazon, wasn't stock either, but I found something else, which I'm going to show you guys today, which I think is way better, because it just looks way better. Like, the other one I saw looked more like an actual mouse. This one looks like, like something that a guy would have for his cat, you know what I mean? Um, and let, let's be honest, we get cat toys. Not for the cats. Sure, the cats play with it. Uh, the cats are interested in it. To be honest with you, the cat is the excuse for the owners to have toys. To, to have a awesome looking cat tower. To have puzzle toys and uh, watch the cat. The cat's entertainment It's really our entertainment. And the reason why we have the cats, why we have pets, is to entertain ourselves. It's, oh my god, this is so darn cool. So this is the box it came in. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it open. This is a remote control mousey toy. And what I am going to do with this is not only are we going to play with my cats with it a little bit, but I also want to go outside, um, test it in like rocks and dirt and stuff like that. It's not made for mud, so I'm not going to even test it in mud. But then I want to test it on like carpet and hardwood floors and stuff like that, you know, so you guys know how this thing really works. But more importantly, the cat will love this thing. Okay, so, um, hmm. I was hoping it was going to come with directions or something, but it's very, very simple. So this is your remote control. Batteries are, of course, not included. You got to put batteries both in this and the mouse, obviously. But you got your uh, forward and backward. And 
your left and right. But what it does when it um, turns left and right is, if you notice the nose is up like this, this actually spins around. It's really, really cool. Let, let's show you that. So this spins around, and that's how this thing turns left and right. And that's really handy because this thing, um, that way it can get out of corners or stuff like that. that that's the one thing about remote control cars, is that it has to get out of, like, corners and stuff like that. that it's just always hard to play with remote control cars indoors. And this thing is supposed to be made for indoors. I mean, it is a cat toy, after all. Uh, with that said, let's take a look at it. So, this is the key toy to get the key's attention. Um... Yeah, and then this is the actual. Oops, look at that. That looks like a really awesome like, race car thing, huh? Okay, so it's kind of a cloudy day to do this, but we'll still do it. So let's just start it out on cement. You can see it works great. Now, one thing I will say about is this is the sensor. If that gets turned around and you are out of its range, it will not work. And the fact is, it doesn't have a very large uh, distance. With that said, it's a cat toy. It's for inside. It's like 23 dollars. It's not supposed to have a super cool long range or anything like that. But still, we can play with it out here. All right, so it is a little bit gravelly here. Sorry about the dog barking. Can't do anything about the neighbor's dog. Um, but it's pretty much just dirt here, so. It does work pretty good, actually. Alright, so my entire yard is pretty much rock. Let's test it. Let's test it. Yeah, it still pretty much works in rock. Then again, this is just average gravel. So it's not like, it's not like mountains over there or anything like that. But it still works in gravel. Okay, so fact is I don't really have carpet in my house. I do have rugs. This is a very smooth, thin rug. This this is more like carpet. And uh, we'll test it on these two things right here. All right. Let's do, let's do it. Backwards, forwards, couple of turns. So it can get a little stuck on carpet, a little bit. See, she is just a little stuck on carpet. But it can go from one to the other even backwards. See, it's going from carpet to wood to thin carpet. Right there. So it can get just a little stuck on the thicker stuff, but it still works pretty good. And yes, Mamki does like to play with it. She tore off one of the feathers already. Great. Alright, so she actually does love playing it. So does Tigger. But, you know, they're not really used to this moving. And I just want to see what will happen if I actually dump the tail in some catnip, huh? I wonder how that will go by. She 
you can smell the catnip on that. You can smell the catnip on that. I don't know if I'm really in focus or not. Oh, but she can smell the catnip on that. That really got her playing. So she does love catnip, but not as much as my boy. Okay, so I gave him some keynip, and this is what he does when he has catnip. <laughs> this is what I expected him to do, but with the mouse in his hand. <sighs> Isn't that silly? Mama Key, on the other hand, she has, she loves catnip. She just doesn't have as much of a reaction to it as this guy does. Okay, so this is actually being filmed in March, a month ahead of time, uh, but on the day that this comes out on, April 19th is my cat's birthday. Mama Key is going to be six years old, and Tigger is going to be four, so down in the comments, let them know you guys said happy birthday. Thank you guys for watching, and I am out. Bye.